Groundwater and The Shovel. Both of them great books. They're both huge, they're varied, they're funny, and they're about aesthetically as sophisticated as you can possibly get, as is Colin Brown. Carlisle Square for Fred Waugh. It found me at the green jam of an open pane one bleak St. Lucy's morning, a scent of arbutus bark, salt, hot thimble berries, and that stubborn subaltern poverty. It's rationed yes and no, my mother's yes and no. The music at the heart of my earliest thinking. Diphthongs grave and willful greened in Carlisle Square, where Sitwell sat. Two wheels that June spoke gravel, a wee burn, its gleam and turbulence, prized by stick racers, gurgled green fields across the road from Maniac Castle. Honeysuckle nursed us on skin-warm stones until my name was called. My mother's voice, the furrow, my words still danced through. And when I say I hear myself thinking, it is my mother's voice I hear, clear, lonely, at the heart of a shy and fugitive love that cracked a lion's heart. Listen, that love is you speaking, you thinking, even when you forget that love, this love, her love. Thank you. Let's say a few words about Talon books first, about the relationship between Talon books and poetry. Talon started off as a magazine by a high school kid named David Robinson at McGee High School and started it up in 1963, which was just about the time when the Tisch crowd moved to all kinds of different cities to create poetry elsewhere. And then four years later, Talon published its first book of poetry,